Hey everyone, it's Sam from Samantha Mary Plans. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning the week of September 14th through September 20th, which is always my birthday week. Um, I'm not, I never actually, I don't think I ever did a birthday kit for my birthday, but since it is almost fall in that month, I know it's almost, it's fall now, um, currently, but I wanted to use a fall kit and this is the fall festival kit from Sticky Essentials and I paired it with gold foil, both a hot gold and just like a, like Crest Press SPC gold. And um, while I'm putting down the base, I wanted to go ahead and answer some questions that I got from Amy of Amy Ray Plans. So thank you, Amy. I appreciate it. Um, she had one, two, three, she had four, four, yeah, four seasons, four questions for me. The first question is, what is your favorite coffee drink? I like the iced chais from Starbucks and then from Dunkin'. I always get an iced caramel cold brew coffee with liquid sugar and cream. And then the second question she had asked is, what is your favorite regular type of drink? Um, if I had to, I use, I like iced tea, like lemon tea, um, but like soda wise, I don't drink very much soda, but I do like the Dr. Pepper with the cream soda mixture. Um, the new soda that just came out recently, that's very tasty. Um, but I mainly drink water and iced tea a lot of the times. The next question she had asked me was my favorite season, 100% fall. I hate the hot, I hate the summer. If it's above like 80 degrees, I can't stand it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But I do love like summer art and like ocean art and stuff. So like my kits for summer are normally like all beachy related and stuff. I do like the art. I do love the ocean, but I hate the heat. Funny story though. My fiance, his mom lives down in Florida and she always wants to get us to move down there. And I always tell her no, because I can't stand waking up in the morning and then walking outside and like my glasses fogging up even though I wear contacts sometimes but like glasses in the morning I just can't deal with with the fog and the humidity and everything but fall I love that I could still wear sandals jeans a hoodie or like a flannel and a t-shirt underneath uh, that's like my go-to if it were to be like 65 like all year long I would be like the happiest 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 girl alive and my last quote that, yeah, the last quote, the last question she had asked me is, do I have a favorite quote? And my favorite quote is from Practical Magic. And it is the quote, uh, but there are certain things I know for certain. Always throw spilt salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Plant lavender for luck. And fall in love whenever you can. I love that quote. Um, so yeah, thank you, Amy. I do appreciate it. If anybody else has any other questions, I think I say this, I sound like a broken record, but just leave them down below. Um, I think I'm just gonna, I think one of my videos, maybe one of my Halloween videos, I'm gonna do like a music, like tag, quote unquote tag, um, that I'm just gonna come up with some questions and answer and leave them in below. And if anybody wants to answer them themselves for their videos, they'd be feel free. But I, I thought that that'd be pretty cool. I haven't seen that go around yet, but I, not that I think of. Um, but I'm almost done with the base and I'm just putting the full boxes down. The, the full box overlays I've used from Freebies from Rose Color Days and the pumpkin ones from Caress Press and as well as the overlay tapes from Rose Color Days too, like the geometric shaped ones I thought worked really well. I think there was one or two boxes that I didn't have so I put bows on from SPC and I did it again where I did in my last video. Yes? Yes, that I put the deco in the beginning of the video versus the end of the video because I don't want to miss it or like accidentally delete it or something um, like I did to plan with me's ago. But yeah, uh, good news though while this is going through. Um, I am almost caught up to October, so hopefully by the end of this week I should be into Halloween spreads because I'd like to videotape them. Rec yeah, videotape. Wow. Record them to upload them because I just think that they're all going to be so pretty and I don't want to just do them through a flip through. So, I mean, I will be a little bit behind, but I don't want to go into Christmas still on Halloween. You know what I mean? So hopefully I'll get this. I'll be recording the week of the 21st in my next, like tonight after I get out of work, which is today is the 26th. 
So um, I'm doing the headers. And then moving on to Monday, I I put a patterned half box in because it was my birthday. I turned 31 and I didn't do anything. I worked. Yippee. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was my birthday. And I then marked that. And then I replied to like the birthday wishes that everybody that you never talk to on Facebook leaves you. Um, so I replied to all of the people there and then I opened presents from my mom, which she got me more yarn for my blanket that I'm crocheting. So I have tons of yarn for that. And I used a Bubba Bear Studios birthday girl to mark that, uh, for replying to wishes was a Fox and Cactus Mermaid girl. I know it's fall themed, but she had the orange hair and like the pinkish hair. So I would put that there. And then I used a little present from Paper and Milk. And then on the sidebar, I used a little face mask munchkin from Once More With Love to mark the week that I'm home. And then the bottom half was my birthday week that I used the old AF cat with a cake from Fox and Cactus that I think I got from a freebie. And then moving on to the second half of Monday, I had a birthday cake. I think the only thing I asked for was a cake and I get the Pepperidge Farm like fudge cake cake, the frozen ones. Um, that's like my favorite cake. So I got that for my birthday. And then last Christmas, as a group for my work, we created like a wreath. We did a wreath project and it was Christmas themed. So I took everything off and I decorated it for Halloween. So I used a little um, Halloween witch from Fox and Cactus to mark that we decorated it for Halloween. Um, and then I caught up on the coroner. So I used the icon from the kit to mark that. And then it was Dancing with the Stars premiere this day. And I used a little like love munchkin where he's like holding her in the air. It had the word love underneath, but I cut it out because I thought it was like a good dance move. Oh, excuse me. Tomorrow, I always yawn in my videos and I always excuse myself and I'm so, so sorry. Uh, moving on to Tuesday, it was freezing all day. So I used a like munchkin in an ice cube to mark that. And I bundled up in blankets uh, while I was working. This was like build a fort, but it felt like bundled up. Um, off of like the like the pandemic sheet or whichever like the bucket list type of sheet and then I requested a half a day for Wednesday so I used the at symbol which was from a gold I don't know if it was from a wiggle or just a gold sheet that I had to mark that and then I scanned my dogs that passed away their paw prints because I was getting a tattoo um so I used the little baby feet from the wiggle but I think it's going to look the same. It's their paw prints. So, I mean, same difference, right? And then moving on to the second half of the day, I had a meeting at 1030. So I marked that with the icon clock. Um, I had Burger King for dinner. So I used a Wild Summer Designs um, burger sheet. Burger. Um, I didn't leave the house all day, though, which was fantastic. So I used a little house circle icon from the Wiggle from SPC. And then I bundled up with two blankets to sleep so i used it was every minute a story um little character like wrapped up in blankets and on pillow that i was cold and then moving on to wednesday it was payday and i used a squared off box to mark that and then i was using a fancy label after that but then or a little thing but then i realized i wanted to use a work label so i ended up switching everything around um, to mark that I worked from 9.30 to 1.30 and then I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji um, with like the money, the dollar bills because it was payday. And then in the brown label underneath, I did use a tattoo gun because on my half day I went up to the mall, um, to the local tattoo shop to make an appointment for my dog's paw prints. So I marked that with a tattoo gun from Once More With Love. I did some shopping, so I used the shopping bags from the kit. Because I went to JCPenney's and I got some jeans and I think a sweater for myself, I want to say. Um, on the way home, I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts to get an iced coffee. And I used a little cat, orange cat, in like a pumpkin latte type thing. Um, it was one of the mini sheets from Fox and Cactus to mark that. Then I ran down to a friend's house to grab something from her. And I just used the like running man icon because I didn't have a car icon, I don't think. And then I had two TV shows, which I had Catfish and Coroner to mark that.
And moving on to Thursday, uh, it was Ian's payday, so I used a patterned fancy label to mark that with the money bag icon from SPC to mark that. And then I paid bills that day, so I used the credit card icons to mark that. I think I'm a little bit, I, I know I drew the icons and stuff afterwards. Uh, I recorded my voiceover for a plan with me this day, which I used a Once More With Love munchkin, which was the podcast munchkin, munchkin, but this works for this. And then I uploaded my plan with me, which I used a foiled icon from SPC. I went to Wise this day, so I just used a little thing to mark that with an icon from the kit. Uh, with a pattern fancy label, I did mark taking out the trash with a trash munchkin. I ordered some stickers from Caress Press. So I used like the shopping spree, spree munchkin on the computer with like the dollar signs going everywhere to mark that. And I caught up on this, this that current week's, that past week's Wentworth. So I just used a foiled icon from SPC to mark that. And it's still going there. I also placed my double box in a different spot this week and I actually really like it. I usually put it on Friday and Saturday but I for some reason I liked it for Thursday and Friday at the top. Um, I might have to do that more often or kind of play around with with it being everywhere. Um, moving on to Friday I had a meeting at 1130 so I used a munchkin that came from an SPC freebie uh, to mark that. I went to Wise again so I marked it with a wonton and a million sticker to mark that. I had Chinese this day so I used a foiled icon from SPC. And then my mom and I played Yahtzee. We printed out some of the sheets from Yahtzee off of the internet. And we played about six games of Yahtzee. I didn't have any Yahtzee or like game day stickers, I don't think. Or I did and I couldn't find them. But I thought using the munchkin with the Play-Doh was really cute. So, I mean, it's like gamey, right? Sure. <laughs> um, after that, we were talking about possibly getting a puppy. And we were searching for it. So I did some research to try to find any dogs for sale or any litters that were around uh we had two shelties previous so we were looking along the like sheltie thing we ended up getting a border collie spoiler alert but um i was searching for dogs that day and i had a tiktok binge and then love after lockup watching with my mom moving on to saturday i slept in of course and then i had a nail appointment at one o'clock to get a fill for my acrylics um i ended up calling about the border collies puppies that I had found to see if any of them were like spoken for or purchased or anything. Um, they were going to be eight weeks that following Monday from Saturday. So we wanted to see that. So I used a Shop Spencer and Jude sleeping mask um, for the nail appointment. I used like the hand from SPC from calling. I used the phone icon from the kit. And then uh, my dad actually originally said no. So I used a Primrose Corner uh, girl to mark that. Uh, we went to Weiss again, so I marked that with a munchkin with a grocery bag. I cooked some chicken, so I used a girl from SPC, one of the scribblers cooking in a skillet, and I ended up crocheting that night. So I have a little crocheting munchkin to mark that. Moving on to Sunday, I slept in again. Of course, on Saturday and Sunday, it's like, if I'm not working for my couple hours of work, I'm usually sleeping in. So... After that, I marked with a half box, oh, excuse me again, that my dad, um, he finally agreed to a puppy, which we were super excited about. And then my mom and I went to the dollar store to grab some just like little toys. We still had a lot of toys from Bailey and Tyler um, that were still in good shape. So we just wanted to get her some of her own. So for sleeping in, I did use a Primrose Corner Girl again. Um, I used the Fox and Pip Girl with like the heart eyes to mark that um, he agreed to have a puppy. And then I don't remember what, I think this was from a Caress Press Freebie from a while ago, but it was like mini ears because we got her like a bone, like a bow shaped bone type thing, or was it a bone shape? Whatever it was, but it just reminded me of the shape. So I marked it with that. Um, and then we went to our local pet store to buy just a simple leash and collar. She got like this purple, like a pretty purple color one. Um, so I used a Ohana, Ohana story. Maybe. I think that's what it is. Um, character with a little dog to mark that. Um, I did all the laundry this day. So this freebie, this was on a freebie. Um, and I don't remember where I got it from to the laundry basket. I have a whole bunch of different colors of it. Um, I requested Monday, which was the next day off because we were going to see the puppy. 
um, to hopefully get it. And like I said, spoiler alert, we did get her. Uh, her name is Zoe. And then I back planned June, so I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Planner from a freebie. And then I had a YouTube bin, so I used a foiled play button from The Wiggle. And I'm just filling everything out here. And then, yeah, uh, this week that I'm currently in, like I said, it's the 26th, so Halloween is on Saturday. So like I said, I hope to have another video up by tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday and then hopefully Friday that brings me into like October kits. I don't want to skip anymore because I really like I'm using Pumpkin Patch from SPC for the week of the 21st of September. So I really want to plan that out because I have some really cool stickers that match from Sadie Stickers. Um, so that's my plan is tonight after I get out of work in a few minutes um, to get a planner video started filming um, after I come back from the store. But yeah, I'm just finishing up everything here. And again, my Instagram will be left below. Give me a follow, like, and comment on my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. I My goal for right now is to hit 100 subscribers. I'm at 52, so I'm more than halfway there. So I'm hoping to bring that number up by the end of the year. Um, I had no intentions, really, of even planning. If you would have asked me last May if I was going to, not this, like 2019 May, if I was going to plan, I would have said no like I sold everything like literally like all of my kids all of my character stickers so I started from scratch like December of 2019 and coming into the new year and uh, I've been consistent I have I still have a few in like June and July that I need to redo but not redo but fill out but I'm for the most part like 85% complete with all my kids so far minus October which is awesome I think but um yeah, I really do appreciate you guys being here and look forward to like my music tag, like I said, that I want to create. And if you want to do it with me, then I'll leave the, the questions and stuff in that video alone. But yeah, um, I'm almost finished here writing down like my last thing. And I'm going to show a little wiggle in the in my Aura Estelle cloud. I'm trying to play with my lighting here to see if there's anything good, but there's the wiggle. Oh, it looks so pretty and I hope you enjoy